Hey there, I'm Chef Ani, and today we are making tremendous mushroom oat burgers. We like to put avocado on the top and it makes it super delicious. Memorial Day is right around the corner. And to kick off our beautiful summer recipes that we will be sharing all summer along, so if you aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are making mushroom burgers because they are delicious, phenomenally easy to make, and also gluten-free for all of my gluten-free friends out there. But you don't have to be gluten-free to enjoy these burgers because they are good even if you're not gluten-free. So let's jump right into this video. So enough talking, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is to saute some onion and a little bit of olive oil, but if you don't want to use olive oil, you can use water. We're also going to add in some minced garlic, chop up some mushrooms, add that in as well. This is going to give a nice earthy taste to these burgers. Now we're going to add in those chopped walnuts and this is really the texture of the dish. All the texture we want is right here. And we're just going to set this aside while we work on the rest of our burgers. So in a food processor, we're going to add some tofu, some cannellini beans, some Bragg's liquid aminos, a little bit of water, better than bouillon, and then a little sage and a touch of cayenne pepper. And of course you can add as much or as little of that as you wish. And then we're just going to blend till smooth. Transfer that mixture to a bowl, add in our mushroom, an onion mixture, and I like to add in some fresh parsley. It adds so much color and flavor to this dish, which I like. And now we're going to add in our oats, and this is going to really take the burgers to the consistency that we want them to be. So now we're going to shape our burgers. I like to use an ice cream scoop because then you get very similar shaped uh, burgers, which is super easy. So we just do like that. Isn't that easy? So once you have your little mounds of burgers, you can take a spatula and sometimes we just grease it so that this process goes really simple and you just flatten them a little bit. And now we're just going to pop them in the oven to bake. Now you can also brown them in a pan. Sometimes we'll bake them and then brown them in a pan just to get some color and texture on the outside. That adds a lot to these burgers. You can make your burger with all your favorite trimmings. You can make it so nice with some avocado, lettuce, tomatoes, onion, whatever you like put in that burger and you can make it your own. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos and recipes every Wednesday and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday with another video.